All right, here's Beaver Lodge number two. It's a fairly, it isn't really tall, but it's very wide. Here's the feed pile out in front of it. Um, they actually have one run coming out directly below the house here, and it comes out below the feed pile, and there's a side run that comes out there. So I'm gonna set a 3.30 in that run right there, and then over there, they've been going around the house. You can see that log sticking out of the water right there. It's an excellent spot to make a dive set because I see back here, they've been pushing mud up on the shoreline. So I'll put a 3.30 there, a 3.30 there, and then found something else that's kind of interesting. When I was digging around in the mud down here, my foot got caught in something, and I went and I pulled, and there was a wire. It's all old and frayed, and I mean, it's an old snare wire, you know, that's what it was made of. And I started pulling, and I started pulling, and I started pulling, and up from the mud come two 330 conibears. I mean, they look like they're brand new. The, the triggers are still nice on them, you know, and uh, they've, been, they've been down in the mud for I don't know how many years because this wire is frayed and, and rusted and I don't know if you guys know this or not but if you take a trap and you submerge it in a bunch of muck around a beaver house um, they actually preserve very well um, I found a beaver trap that my dad had submerged in a run and didn't get out to, to, to didn't get out to pull it one time and it probably was in there for like seven years we went out to reset that trap or that lodge and I noticed an old stick in the run I pulled it up here come a trap that was seven years old and it looked like it wasn't more than a week old. So there's no tags or nothing on these traps at all. Um, so I'm gonna claim these traps as my own because they've been there for a few years and you know, it's I guess it's the, the trapper's loss, I hate to see it. But uh, I've been trapped, I've actually been trapped in this house for, gosh, I don't know, off probably like the last five years or so and no one else has trapped it. So I would say that it's probably been, they've been there for at least five years. Anyway, I'm gonna get these traps set and uh, we'll see what we can get tomorrow. We're on Beaver Lodge number two. We set this one yesterday. Um, we've got a dive pole set over here, one set in front of the house. The dive pole set I, I see, you know, doesn't have nothing going on with it. I see that uh, my sticks are messed up over here on the deeper one though. In case you're wondering, these, this, these runs here now are, are a lot deeper than the ones I've, I've been used to setting anyway. Let's see here. So I had a I had an H stand on this one, and I don't use them very often, but here's the H stand right here. Okay, this is a, oh, this is a big beaver. My wire there. Okay, my H stand. Here we go, you see I don't use them very often, but there's my H stand. God, this is a big beaver too. In fact, I'll bring them up in the house over here so you guys can see them. Oh, if I can get out of the water, that is. Look at that head catch on it too. Oh, I just caught this beaver this morning. It's still kind of warm and limp looking. But you can see, look at that head catch on that beaver. Nailed him. I'm guessing there's only two big ones in here. There could be more, but I should have had a smaller one, but oh, this is a good size one. This is gonna be probably 55, I'm guessing. But uh, there we go. Beaver house number two, connect on another really nice beaver. Beaver lodge number four, might as well call it beaver mansion, because as I walk to the top of this thing, you can see it's just gigantic. Anyway, right? There's a bank den. There's a bank den back in the rushes or someplace under that bog, but there's an entrance to it right there. I set a 3.30 there. 3.30 right there. Where is it? Oh yeah, right there. 3.30 right there. And 3.30 right there. So I got five sets in this massive house. Um, yeah. So, all right. This is a giant beaver house here. Um, we got one trap that was set off. It's a mistake that every trapper makes. I haven't made it in a while, but it happens. I had that conibear set off there, and I forgot a safety on one of the springs. So that beaver is getting away, and probably won't go near a conibear again the rest of its life. But we do, we did manage, manage to catch two beavers down here. And these, these runs are really deep, too. You know, there's my solo stick. Oh, here's my stake. Safety stick. 
So there's one beaver. Got this beaver. I can tell I got this beaver coming out. You know, this this isn't a big one, but you know, with the way prices are nowadays, we all know that we're not going to make a bunch of money and like we would ever trapping, other than doing some ADC work. But anyway, there's one small beaver there, and then uh, we'll walk over here to this other trap quick and you show you guys a shot of that one. This beaver. I don't know if you guys are looking at this beaver house at all, but this beaver house is. Massive. It's got to be, I would say, I mean, it's probably around eight feet tall at its widest point and probably, I would say, 60 or 70 feet long and probably 50 feet wide. It's absolutely massive. But we got one more trap down here. And once again, it's another deep run, of course. Oh, there's my swivel stick. I'll take my glove off. There's my swivel stick. Oh, my steak. And that's another small beaver. I got this one coming in. There's actually a beaver on the front left corner of the house here that's really deep, and I can't even come close to touching bottom on it. So, you know, obviously beaver can come in and out from there, but. I set this beaver trap a little differently. You know, normally I set them all the way on the bottom, but the beaver were coming out off the bottom a little bit with this trap, so I set it off the bottom a little bit. You can see, regardless, I got them right by the neck. So, got two small beaver out of this place today, and uh, hopefully tomorrow we can connect on another big, or a big, a big one somewhere, because that one over there, you know, I don't know if it was big or small, but usually, even if you catch a small one in a trap and you leave a safety on, you'll catch them regardless, so that was probably a big one. But, oh well, anyway, uh, thanks for watching this morning. We'll get back to you tomorrow with what we catch from here. So we're on this big lodge this morning. This is lodge number, oh gosh, lodge number four, I believe it is. Caught two small ones here yesterday. Um, had a trap that was fired, you know, missed a beaver. Um, but I, you know, looked at these three traps on the lodge today and we have three beaver on this, on this lodge today. I'm gonna set this up quick for you guys. I'll just do a little spiel on the sizes of the beavers. You guys, most of you guys have seen me set traps a million times, so you don't need to see me set traps, but my swivel stick, my stake, and you know the there was there was more beaver here last night because all these red willows were not here yesterday. But there's this one here. Well, this isn't a big one, you know. It's a small one, like yesterday's beaver, but that's all right, you know. I'm getting 12 bucks a piece for them just straight across the board, so it's fun to catch some big ones, but I know where that goes. We'll run right over here quick. And if we walk up to this one, here you can actually see this beaver here. I think maybe it's the big, this could be a bigger one, but you can see, if you look, there's the tail right there. In fact, I'll, I'll bring it right down the water for you guys so you can get right down in on some of this action here. If you can see that, that is the beaver right there. And there's this tail right about there. I'll just set this up right here quick. stick here, my stake, my safety wire is tied off over here. Hey, there's a nice piece, nice piece of diamond willow. I'm going to take that home with me. Uh, I think I'm going to get this out here. Okay, there we go. There's a beaver right there. I'd say that's a, I don't know, it's not that big, but it's definitely a decent sized one, maybe. All right. Got one more. 
yellow beaver right over here. Got my swivel stick here. Oh, and my stake, of course. Oh, if I can get it off my stake anyway. There we go. And it's just another little guy. That's five beaver out of here now, all small ones. Hopefully I connect, can connect on a bigger one here one of these days coming up soon, so. Anyway, continue on to our next spot. Here. Keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. I'm gonna walk up on top of it, you can see how big it is. It's not that tall, but it is massive. Probably easy, but that's where I moved them. I did leave um, two caster mount sets by the shoreline here, hoping to get a beaver. And I got up here this morning, a little, little iced over this morning, but you can definitely see that this produce, my caster mount set there, my caster on it. I'm gonna go out here and Grab this beaver. It's a pretty good sized one too. Nailed him right by the head in that blile. And I do I do just have a big long stick here wired to the blile because I knew that you know if I caught a beaver in it, it wasn't gonna be able to we're gonna be able to get away with the trap. So I'm actually just gonna break all this up here because I want more beaver to come up in here tonight, hopefully. It's supposed to get up to 40 degrees today, so the water should open up you know nicely. I'm going to go at it just about like this for you guys. Maybe that'll help. As long as my tripod doesn't follow where that is. Hear me? There we go. Alright, I'm trying to make this quick. I just laid it right there. It's a dead tree. This is a pretty nice beaver. You can see, probably a 45 or maybe a 50 pounder. That's that's the second big beaver I've taken out of this lodge. But like I said yesterday, something ate my other one. So <sighs> those Belials are not traps we messed with. They're a lot power in those traps. Anyway, there's that big beaver right there. I'm gonna reset this trap quick for you guys. I thought for sure that the, that, that the timber will scare all the beaver off and they wouldn't want to come anywhere near a set, so um, I wasn't sure if the beaver would actually come up to the shoreline around here. So I, so I actually left my left my rubber gloves back at the truck. So, you know, when they go and get tough, the tough just don't wear their gloves. That's how I look at it. Besides, it's almost 30 degrees out anyway. Ugh. My trap here, half my sticks are already in place still from that last beaver. So I'm just gonna get this trap put in here. Beaver must have kick some mud in there. To get these traps half submerged here in Minnesota. I'm just gonna put a couple logs on here, like so, like so, 
big clump of mud here. I'm just gonna wrap around the stick to disguise it a bit. Other side, same thing, clump of mud there. Try to hang it over just a little bit, disguise it. I'll even grab a little bit more over here to disguise this trap a little bit better. Just trying to channel the beaver in here. I actually have a, there is an old caster still on my old stick here. I could use it, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna take a nice fresh one here. Oop, I'm gonna drop half it in the water apparently. Well, it's underwater, so it don't matter now. Alright. Oh. I'm gonna make a little fresh beaver caster in the morning. I'm just gonna shove this right in front of the trap here. Any beaver comes near shore, it's gonna smell that caster, head right into that 330 like this last one did. Well, we got a couple traps on the lodge. We'll go check those. You know, I didn't catch nothing in there yesterday, but let's hope for better stuff today. Back there on the shoreline, um, we got this lodge here that never ends. And I got a bank or I got a house run set here. And you can see I got a beaver there. Must have caught it last night because everything froze over. But I'm gonna take that out of the trap for you guys here quick. Get a little reset action on it. This is the only run that isn't 2,000 feet deep. When I say 2,000 feet deep, I mean, okay, not that deep, but deep. Got my stick here. Let's see here, somewhere I got a, oh yeah, right here. I'll pull the beaver over, you guys can get a look at him. You know, it's, it's probably a, it might be a two year old. You see, I got a nice head catch on him. And I caught him coming into the hot. So he came in from one of these other runs over here, but, oh, you know, I do, a, I do a lot of trapping videos and I don't, you know, I don't imagine you guys want to see me reset every single trap or on every single video. I don't know, honestly, what you guys really want me to do exactly on all my videos, but I got to show some of this stuff. Uh. There we go. There's my trap. Got this beaver out. Drop my trap in the run. That was my plan the whole the whole time. Yes. It was. Ah. Get out of here. Let's see. You know, I had a nice swivel stick laying here someplace and I'm gonna see it floated away. I think I can actually see it out here. And if it isn't it, I'm going to take it anyway. There we go. All right. I'm going to make it fast and painless for you guys. Reset this trap here. You know, the truth is with this, with this trap I'm setting now, um, this run where they're coming out of the lodge, you know, it's not a really hard bottom run. Normally, you know, you got a hard bottom run. Beaver coming out right on the bottom. This one isn't that deep, so I'm not actually gonna put this trap right on the bottom. This one here, normally I shove the springs way down like this, but this one here, I'm actually gonna leave this one up. So it stays off the bottom just slightly. Run this through the thing there. Put this right in over here. You know what, before I do that, I should really make sure that there's nothing in the way here because that happens quite often. Okay, there's nothing in the way. So I'm just gonna put this down here, like so. There go, a trap. I'm gonna swivel it over here just slightly. Push this back to, so my stick trap doesn't get caught on that stick. There we go. 
that in there. There's my swivel stick, like that. I had this one here too because this run, ooh, this run is slightly exposed to the elements, so the beaver can swim in and out, you know, above water if they really want to. So what I did is I shoved this log right over the top of the water to help them dive underneath there. Anyway, quick reset on that trap. Got two beaver out here today. Hopefully next time we come out here, um, we'll have a couple more beaver and some video of some wild animals eating.